Hi, and welcome. I'm Kelly with Straight Talking with Kelly. This is where you'll meet some of the most intelligent, creative, and talented people you'll ever know that are willing to share information uh, willingly and openly, and they're from various industries. Today I have with me um, students, former students with City College of San Francisco, and I'll have a chance to introduce you to them in a moment. And then I also have uh, Aria Zarenkelk, who is also the specialist uh, with City College, and we'll have a, a employment and training specialist. We'll have a chance to speak with him a little bit more as well. So before I get started, I would actually like to introduce you to Amy Arbach, Paige Mohan. Uh, Paige, did I say your last name correctly? Uh, it's Paige McGannum. Okay, <laughs> and then Tiffany Law. So would you guys introduce yourselves and let me let the audience know what your major was at City College and what you're doing right now? Do you want me to go first? Okay, you can go first, Amy. Thank you. Uh, sure. Um, so my name is Amy Auerbach. Um, I graduated last year, um, May 2020, with a degree in fashion design. And I had a long career as a arts administrator for a nonprofit art center where I managed a gallery for a long time. But I've always loved fashion and fabric. And um, I had been taking city college classes like on weekends when I could. And I finally was like, you know, I really, I really wanna switch and do something different. So I quit my job and just devoted time to finishing the classes so I could have a degree. And um, then the pandemic hit, so. Um, that kind of slowed things down in terms of like the industry and jobs and stuff, but I've been uh, doing a lot of like self, you know, initiated projects and um, taking like webinars on sustainability is a big issue for me. So I've been doing a lot of that research on that um, and, you know, just trying to <laughs> stay <Okay>. safe. <laughs> Um, Sounds good to me. Yeah. You've been busy. <laughs> I get sick. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, Paige. Um, hello to all the viewers. My name is Paige. Um, I also graduated from City College in May of 2020. Um, this was my second bout in college. Uh, first time I got a degree in hospitality management, and that didn't um, end up panning out for me very well. I ended up deciding that my my love and my interest lied in fashion. Um, so I went to City College full time for I think about a year and a half, maybe two years um, to try to finish up a degree. And I got really, really fortunate um, with the help of Aria. I was able to secure a job at Old Navy as an associate technical designer, kind of right before the lockdown happened. So it was a little bit touch and go there for a minute, wasn't sure I was gonna be able to join the team, um, but I, I was very fortunate. I got the job and I am still with them currently. Very happy. Very nice, <laughs> thank you. Tiffany, what about you? Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Tiffany Law and I majored in fashion design at City College. Um, and right now, currently, I'm just working on my portfolio. I'm trying to do a personal project right now. Like Amy, I'm also getting really into sustainable fashion. So listening to the podcast and doing research into that field. And that's where I'm at right now. All right. All right. So Mr. Aria, would you tell us what you do? Yeah, absolutely. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Aria Zarenkelk, and I am what's called an Employment Training Specialist 3 at City College of San Francisco. And so what that ultimately means is that I am an arts, media, entertainment focused career person. And so I have the honor and privilege of working with cinema, web graphic design, video audio production, photography, and of course, fashion students at City College. And my major intention and manifestation is to help students find career experiences outside of City College. So that could be jobs, that could be internships, that could be higher education acceptances. They set the bar for what success is, and I do everything in my power to get them there. All right, it sounds wonderful. So the reason why we're here today is because I am teaching a new class that's actually called Fashion 
workplace career essentials. And these students were actually the very first students that took the class. And so we're gonna talk about what they got out of the class, how ARIA participated with, participated with them, uh, and just kind of really show the importance of why this class is necessary, especially for students that are getting ready to leave, uh, graduate and get into the workforce, okay? So as we know right now that the job market has changed drastically because of you know, the pandemic, we've seen unemployment rate rises as businesses had to, to close and many of them are never gonna come back. The market is slowly recovering though, you know, because now sanctions are being lifted because of the vaccination that we have. So things are gonna start picking up. And so Aria, I want you later on to talk a little bit more about what employers are gonna be looking for for uh, the new hires, okay? Uh, so now let's talk a little bit about the course. So the Workforce and Career Essential course was designed to ensure that our students are prepared to enter the workforce with the essential knowledge and skills and attributes that are required for a successful career in the fashion industry. We assist students with building skills and competencies that will give them an edge when applying for a job. And so these students have taken the course and so now I'm gonna ask them a couple of questions that'll kind of give you an idea of what it was like for them to be in it. So I'm gonna, you know, we'll just go around Amy and then Paige and then Tiffany asking you, why did you choose to take this course? What made you take fashion workforce and career essentials? Um, well, City College made me take it because it, um, <laughs> it was a required class. Um, and, uh, I didn't really know what to expect. And at the same, I took it in my last semester and I was also taking fashion portfolio at the same time. And there was a lot of overlap with some of the materials that we had to do. So it was nice to have two opportunities to work on the same projects. Um, but um, I liked that the class was really small I think there was like six of us maybe. And although I know that's not ideal for City College, it was ideal for me because I think I was able to um, just be more open about my experiences and frustrations and troubles and stuff. And um, I appreciated that because a lot of times you don't really um, get to do that in classes. Um, and it was, it's been like a year exactly, I think, since we all were together. Yes, it was definitely <laughs> Which is kind of time. weird. Um, so amazing. And I know there was a lot of like navigating like how to do it online and what you know, you were kind of um feeling out the the book that was required, and then we sort of decided you're a better teacher than the book was. Um but I you know, it was a great experience. Yeah. Paige. Um, so I'm aligned with Amy, uh, City College did make me take this class, um, but the opportunities that this class provided, I think are a little bit more important. Um, so it really gave um, me the opportunity to sort of practice different skills when looking for a job. Um, we did some practicing with informational interviews. It was nice to get more than, um, you know, one or two sets of eyes on my resume or my portfolio. It kind of really forced us to, um, kind of explore these more what I would consider to be kind of uncomfortable parts of having to apply for a job. I don't think people really like writing cover letters or resumes. I think it makes them anxious. Um, but with the support of this class and with Aria's help as well, it ended up being pretty painless. Um, and I also agree with Amy. It was kind of nice to have a small class. It felt a little bit more intimate and I think took some of the pressure off um, when having to present yourself or sell yourself um, in a practice environment. Um, nicer to do it amongst friends than a huge group of strangers. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. Tiffany? Yeah, I chose to take this course um, because I really wanted to know what would be essential for getting a career in fashion. I really wasn't sure, like, because I've been in other industries, but for fashion in particular, that's why I took the course. Okay. And so Aria, what was it like for you to partner with us? Because I know when we had the cover letter and resume portion of the class is when I had you come in. First, the students had an opportunity to do peer reviews of each other's resume. 
and then they had a chance to send it to you to get corrections and updates. And then I actually looked at it and gave them their final grade. So what was it like working with the students, Aria? I actually find that working with fashion students is the most invigorating part of my job because it is a subject matter that I'm not the expert on. And so I learn a great deal about what does this world consist of specifically, and then how do some of the best practices that I've gleaned from working with web and graphic design students, audio video production students work. And I think one of the best things was just to see everyone at different stages and have different outcomes in our work together and still feel pretty solid about what they are presenting. And I think that this type of capstone class is really important for all subject matters, regardless of discipline, and can really serve people because of what Paige was alluding to earlier, where we all feel really, really uncomfortable and really, really isolated when we start looking for work. And it always sits in the back of our mind when we're studying. And I know when I was coming out of school, when I was in school, I was just thinking about, okay, let me focus on getting the good grade. And then in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, wow, I need to get a job. So these type of courses, especially in a small group environment, really creates a strong sense of community that allows for knowledge share. Um, and so for me personally, I was really pleased to be invited and part of it. Oh, good. Well, I will definitely have you back. So just hang on. <laughs> I know you're coming back. And so... Ladies, one of the things that I remember is that when we start talking about the goal setting and values and uh, the different principles and stuff, how important that was for you, because it's not just about looking at, you know, the job. It's like, you know, first I need to do some personal development within myself. So tell me, what was the most important part that you got out of the personal development part of the, the lesson? Um, yeah, because I hadn't changed my job in a long time, I hadn't, didn't have to think about a lot of this stuff for a long time. Um, yeah, I think the, did we do like a SWOT analysis? Yes, we did. Yeah, that was good. The values and beliefs. I liked that. Um, it's funny because now I'm taking a social media marketing class. And we had to do a personal brand for ourselves first. So having some of that, having done that, it helped me in that class. Um, so yeah, I would say those are good. A lot of the assignments were good. Yeah. Okay, Paige. Um, so I would say that from my previous world working in hospitality, your values and kind of who you are as a person or a worker was never really something I ever considered. It was never something I needed to consider um, just in that industry. Um, so it was nice to sort of be challenged with thinking about something I'd probably never really given a, you know, true um, intentional thought to. And I will say, you know, when I was doing it, I was kind of like, okay, like this is who I am and these are my values. And like, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what comes of knowing these things. Um, working for a large company, they hit on our values a lot, a lot more than I ever really would have expected. Um, when I go through um, reviews, I just had a yearly review, they pull up our company values and they kind of review you somewhat based on how, how are you aligning your work to the values of the company. Um, so it was kind of nice to have you know, that at least as like a base level. Um, so when, you know, Old Navy started being like, these are our values, I could at least take a moment and go, well, good thing I've at least thought about what my values are and can kind of compare and contrast and see, are they the same? You know, are there any differences that I should be alarmed by, um, you know, regarding my own future? So it was really just nice to have that space to, to think about those things because I had never really given it a lot of thought. That's wonderful, that's awesome. Miss Tiffany. Yeah, so I really enjoyed like the personal, like the values exercises that we did in class. Um, also, I worked in several different industries in the past. 
And I actually have thought a lot about values and every single time my values aligned with what their values were, I found myself a lot happier at the company. So it was really nice to be able to do these exercises and kind of vision, like, where do I want to like see myself? Like in what company would have the values that I want to kind of develop and also just keep maintaining. So those are all like really useful. And I, I really enjoyed those exercises. Absolutely. So Aria, when you're working with students, do you also incorporate values and beliefs with the students? That's a great question. I don't do it explicitly. I just allow the student to be themselves and I wait to see what bubbles up. And then normally I will reflect back an observation that I may have of the student. And I think the reason for that is I personally, whenever I do those like value exercises, it feels very contrived and forced like in the moment because we're such dynamic and fluctuating creatures, you know, and so it's more about how does a specific value show up in a specific situation. Um, I also, if I'm being really honest, I use a little bit of astrology and a little bit of numerology to kind of give me some clues and insight into people and experiences as well. And I mostly just always come back to the kind of three major precepts that I believe we all are striving to do, which is nourish ourselves and others, cause no harm to self and others, and ease the suffering of self and others whenever, wherever possible. So that's me and how I feel about values. Okay, okay. Well, I actually use it because one of the things that I know is that once students really have an understanding of what's important to them, then it makes it easier for them to align themselves with the companies that have the same type of value system because you don't wanna work with someone that's way off from what you believe in. And I think that's where you find a lot of unhappy people on jobs because they have not looked at what their values and principles are. So I definitely make that a component of the class with every student. And like you can hear from them, it's definitely an eye opener. And then you can take it and use it however you know, it, it works for you, but at least they have an introduction to it and an understanding of it. So now you guys, I wanted you to tell me, give me two examples and how this course prepared you for the workforce. So what were two key things that really helped you? And Paige, we're gonna go with you first because I know that while you were in the class, you were working simultaneously with Aria and then you were able to get your job while you were still in class. So that was beautiful for us to see that happen. Um, yeah, I was trying to think of, uh, while you were asking the question, I'm trying to think of, Two examples. Um, so I think one of the major takeaways that I got from being in the class that really helped me um, get my job was sort of putting it out there in the universe, um, which may sound a little high level, but it was really about speaking to as many people as I could in the form of informational interviews that got me to where I am. Um, the way I got my job is that I talked to a classmate who connected me with someone who connected me with someone who connected me with someone who got me the job. And so by like kind of putting, and I think that's a hard part for students. I, I it was hard for me to you know, putting yourself out there and saying, this is what I want and this is what I'm looking for, um, I think can be difficult. And so that that's definitely one example of how this class really helped me get the job is by, you know, practicing the informational interview structure that was really important. Um, another way this class helped me, I think, um, was getting more eyes on my portfolio. Um, I majored in fashion design, but my intention was always to become a technical designer. And because that's a slightly more specialized portion of working in the fashion industry, I felt like I wasn't sure how to build a portfolio around that job. Um, so it was nice to be able to collaborate with classmates or get other people's eyes on it to see, um, you know, how do we feel it needs to be put together so that I can have the best chance at these jobs. So I would say those two things, more eyes on my portfolio and more practice at informational interviews. Okay, the informational interviews, absolutely. So Amy, what about you? Um, yeah, I totally agree with Paige. The informational interview was um, a really good assignment and um, 
that, you know, I had a little bit of problem connecting with people just because of COVID and stuff and also being hesitant. Um, but I'm trying to think of then what I, yeah, I don't know if I did any, I might've done one additional one on my own, but I did sort of like if I would, I was doing all these webinars and stuff. And if I liked the speaker, then I would try to just connect with them on LinkedIn, um, which people would connect. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> um, whereas before I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, so, the, and also there was a assignment where we pretended we had to answer interview questions, yes. which I thought was good. Um, so you can kind of like practice your answers and um, th that was a really good assignment. Um, and although I haven't had interviews, I'm sure it'll help me <laughs> when, <laughs> when I do. So, um, absolutely. Yeah. Tiffany. Yeah, so the two um, key things I took away, uh, the first was basically how to dress for the workplace um, and basically how to dress for interviews and even like meetings like this one. Um, and so, yeah, I didn't, I was like so fascinated that, you know, there's certain colors that look good on someone or certain things. I'm like, wow, this is like so interesting. Like, um, I just, I didn't know that before. So that was like really cool to learn. Um, the other thing I also really enjoyed learning about what to include in the portfolio because I just still wasn't sure like exactly what to put in it. And I think all the videos you watch were so helpful. And so I was like, okay, this is how to do it. And it just made it feel like I actually can do this because now I actually know what goes into it. And so what about the guest speakers? Didn't that help a little bit as well? Having, oh yeah. Yeah, having the guest speakers come in. So one of the things that it sounds like that you guys got out of this, and I know because I watched it happen with you guys because I remember how I don't want to say timid you guys were, but I guess in a way you were, where you were, you kind of held back a little bit. And it took me a while to get you to open up and to start sharing what was going on with you. And then I noticed by the end of the class, you guys' confidence had built so much. The informational interviews, all of those things that made you step out of your comfort zone helped in terms of giving you guys the confidence to, to move forward with, mm -hmm. you know, your, your, your career. So how helpful was it having Aria look at your resume? What were some of the key points that he changed on your resume? What stood out, if you can remember? Um, I liked the format that he used, the template. <clears throat> I still use it. Um, it was really good. It was really clear to follow. Um, and he also helped me a lot with the career summary part because I've worked in all these different industries and they're kind of connected and I didn't really see the connection, I don't think. Um, that was really good. Um, and he just kind of looks at the whole person and not like just the jobs you are, um, mm -hmm. which is good. And, um, Oh, it's good. Okay, Paige. Um, so since this was my like second round in school, I already had a resume that I felt pretty confident about in the sense that, um, you know, it was well structured for my old industry. I felt I had a strong understanding of how to build a resume, um, and I kind of thought I I thought I knew what I was doing. And I don't want to say like I was clueless, but it was really nice to get a new perspective on how to kind of phrase my experience. Um, I would have to look back at, Arya has some very helpful graphics that he sends out to people and I would have to yes. double check it to remember exactly the change, but it had to do with just how we like quantified the work I was doing um, and sort of altering the language slightly just um, to sort of make it stronger and make me seem like a more well-rounded person. Um, so it was nice after a really long time of not having anyone look at my resume to have new eyes and a new um, kind of overall view of it. I think that was really helpful. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, how did Aria help your resume? Yeah, Aria, like having Aria look at my resume was so helpful. Um, like also like Amy mentioned, like the summary portion, like I didn't even know how important that was. And so like, 
that was something, and I've also worked in the past with other people, like looking over my resume, but with Aria's help, it was just very like straightforward, clear cut and like to the point. And it's just like all the information was so helpful. And after I did all the revisions and I looked at my resume, I was like, wow, this is like so much stronger. And like, I'm like really proud to show it off. So like, thank you. <laughs> yes. So Mr. Aria, how does that make you feel hearing that you help these students get their resumes together in a way where now they feel very confident and proud of it? Um, humbled, um, <laughs> kind of like how uh, a, a farmer feels when they plant seeds and then they reap the fruit. Um, I, and just, I just feel really grateful to be able to be of service to all of to anybody and everybody and specifically these three students that we're talking to today. Yeah. Um, it's very nice to hear. Thank you all. I receive your kind words. So now, one of the things that I know, and I, I noticed all of you guys had said this, that you enjoyed that the class was small, that it had a sm small number of people. And of course, yeah, City College doesn't work that way. You do have to have numbers. But I also agree that this class really should not be 30 students in it. I really think it should have a small number. So I don't know how that'll work, but I'm hoping that you know, the college will take a kind of look at that and realize that certain classes really do need to have a smaller number to really get the students to open up and do the things that they need to do. So fashion, workplace and career essentials is definitely a class that students should take before they graduate. So how would you recommend this class to someone? Amy, how would you recommend the class? Well, I think, the, I mean, it's open to any student, right? It does, you don't have to be just a fashion design student or fashion major. Um, I think it would be helpful for anybody, really. Um, you might have to like tweak the resume or the portfolio materials for another class, another uh, discipline. But I think every student should take some version of this kind of class. Um, and that would help the enrollment. Maybe if it wasn't titled fashion career, it was just mm -hmm. like workplace essentials, you might get more people that are just like, oh, hey, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I would recommend it to anybody. Okay, Paige, what about you? Um, I think if I was going to recommend it to someone, I might tell them that you know, it, it kind of doesn't matter where you are in your life or in your career path. If you're, you know, fresh out of high school, if you're like the three of us, you maybe came from another industry or have other job experience, it never hurts to get a little extra refresher, a little extra help. I mean, like I said, I thought my resume was, was fine. I thought I had fine resume building skills and I don't want, like I said, I don't want to say I was wrong, but I really benefited from having some extra help. So I think there's kind of, and this is not always a great reason, but there's no reason not to take the class. There's no reason not to. It can only help you. It can only make you stronger and it can only make your chances of finding a job better. So why not? Okay, <laughs> Paige, what about uh, Tiffany? Yeah, I agree with um, Paige and Amy. Like it's a course that basically will teach you the essentials for getting a job. And yeah, it doesn't just have to be fashion it could just in general be and I think especially with combined with Aria's help too like it's just it's just like such a powerful like I think it's just help everyone in general mm -hmm. so um yeah I just recommend to anyone that's interested in learning to again like look at look back at the basics of what you really need um to get a job and and also maybe some things that you might not know and so I think it's just always helpful for anyone that's um, interested in getting any job yeah, well, this class was definitely the brainchild of Natalie Smith, our department chair. This was something that she had wanted to have happen. And she was like, Kelly, you'd be the perfect person to teach this since I do have a background in workforce work. And so when I got the class, I was like, okay, trying to get a new class up and running is very difficult, you know, because if students haven't heard about it and they don't really know the teacher, it makes it difficult. But the simple fact that you guys took it and had success from it, this is why we're doing this workshop, this uh, podcast, just to get other people, um, letting other people know that it is a very valuable class to, to take. And I would really love to see it grow. 
And then my partnership with Aria, I definitely want us to continue and to even dig deeper into how we can make this really a tag team, Aria. So you up for that? Yeah. <laughs> Good, because I'm not done yet. I will definitely have more. So we're getting ready to wrap it up a little bit. And so I would like for each one of you guys, now that we've talked about the, the class, how has the whole fashion department in general been of help to you getting you ready for your career, for your career dream, your dream career? <laughs> um, I think just staying connected with your instructors is really important and um, just, I don't know, they've been supportive and um, and you've enjoyed all your fashion classes. The classes have been wonderful. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've taken almost every instructor over the years. <laughs> okay. Um, and just about every class. Like I hope that they um, keep making new classes so I can keep taking well, them. Well, and you know what? We will definitely continue yeah. if we can, yes. Yeah, I know. Like you used to be able to repeat classes, which was fun because you could like, Take it. Take it again. Yep. Like, I took a few twice, um, which was fun. But um, if I could take it all over again, I would. <laughs> okay, nice. So Paige, what about you? How is the fashion department? What was it like for you, the whole experience being uh, a fashion student at City College of San Francisco? Um, so sometimes I tell, I, I say this to people in my life, and it sounds really dramatic when I say it, but the only reason I have this job that I have right now that I really, really love I'm like in love with my job, which is kind of insane because I hated my job for so long when I was in this previous industry. Um, the only reason I'm here is because of the school. I feel like I owe the school a lot um, from just the experience mates. I have relationships with teachers, which has been really amazing. Um, I participated in the senior showcase. That was an experience I never would have had anywhere else really. Um, well, another fashion school really, but anywhere else outside of this school in my life. I never would have built a collection just on my own. I'm not a fashion designer, like I said. So it was nice to have that opportunity. Um, I don't know, everything, everything that I learned, all of the stuff that I did at City College really culminated, I feel in like me moving forward with my career and kind of being getting to where I want to be. Um, Again, sounds a little dramatic, but it's true. For me, it's true. I, this school is really like a very important key part in the timeline of my life to get me to where I am now. Um, so yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> and so you're, uh, Paige, you also are one of our success stories on our City College website, right? The fashion website. Yeah, <laughs> that's me, <laughs> success. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> go, see, go see her work. And then Miss Tiffany is also on the success story. So Tiffany, tell me what was the fashion department? How has the fashion department helped you with your career? Yeah, I think what it's definitely given me a lot more confidence um, because I had worked in different industries and I was doing a career change. And so it's definitely given me more confidence in like just everything in general, like with sewing, with fashion illustration, and especially with your course. I feel like your course was just like, just like that cherry on top where it's like help like to boost the confidence. Um, and so, and also with Aria too, I just can't thank Aria enough um, for all his help. Um, so just everyone, all the teachers and everyone's just amazing, Aria included. Um, so like, I just learned so much. And I think that right now it's really giving me the confidence to like keep trying to pursue fashion, which is something that I've been wanting to do for so long and was so afraid of. Yes. Um, so that's just, I think the confidence thing is definitely the thing that's like helped me the most with. Absolutely. Now, one of the things that I want you guys to keep in mind, too, is that, you know, Priscilla Fung, who actually runs the internship programs, and even though they're internship programs, she still also helps get people hired. <clears throat> so you guys should really keep in touch with her as well. So have you guys thought about that? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. in touch with her. I still yeah, get her email. Making sure that you, <laughs> you, you keep in touch with her. So, um, we are getting ready to wrap it up. Aria, do you have anything that you want to say to these ladies as they get ready to continue on with their journey in their careers? Yes, I do. The major thing is that we at City College are part of your village. 
We are part of your community and you can always call upon us whenever you need us for anything, myself especially, and know that you aren't walking alone wherever you're going. And no matter what happens, I personally am just really, really proud of the progress that I've seen all three of you make in the short amount of time that I've known you. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. So what I would actually like to say, anyone that's really interested in taking fashion career, fashion workplace and career essentials, you know, register at City College. It will be offered in the fall. And you can reach out to me at my email address is K Armstro, and that's K A R M S T R O at ccsf.edu. And I can give you more information about the class. So again, I would like to thank my guests for joining me on Straight Talking with Kelly, where real conversations happen. I really appreciate you guys taking out the time to do this with me. So thank you. You know how to stay in touch with me because I definitely want to actually have you back at some time so people can kind of get an update on what you're doing, okay? Thank, thank you, you for having, having us, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys um, go out, have a wonderful rest of the evening and just do know that your words are gonna help a lot of students take this class. I really believe that. I'll let you know, I'll keep you posted, okay? Yeah. Okay, you guys have a great Hopefully you'll evening. have a wait list. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, if, if that's the case, maybe they'll split it into two classes because like I said, I like what you guys said, keeping it very intimate. Mm -hmm. I really think that that's what made it a successful class. Don't you think so? Yeah. 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 Most and Aria, do you ever, do you have small classes or do you do workshops? How, how does that work? Yes, I do do workshops and Sometimes they're large and sometimes they're small. Okay. I believe in what you're doing specifically, it is actually of the utmost importance that it be a small group. So then the group feels safe to be honest yes. and candid about their experiences and everyone can feel seen, known, validated and heard yes. for one of the major components to why the job search causes so much harm is we feel very invisible. And when you go into a classroom and there's 30 people versus a classroom of six to 10, it's a very different dynamic. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I don't know how the college board is gonna handle that, but I know that it's really important. Uh, I've been working with young people for a very long time. And one of the things my, my strong suit is working with self-confidence and self-esteem building and I have always been able to do it in a small group setting, no more than 12 students. And it really has made a difference in those young people's lives. So anyways, we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm really grateful that you guys were able to participate. And we still had other members that weren't here that also benefited from the class, you know, um, but we couldn't get them to, to join us on the podcast. But I just know that that whole class, we had seven students in the class, I think it was. And it was a really, really wonderful group. So again, I appreciate you guys coming. I definitely want to stay in touch with you. And Aria, you and I will be in touch to get ready to coordinate for the fall. And, you know, if you can come up with any ideas in terms of how you would like to incorporate other things into the class, let me know and we can make that happen as well, okay? Yeah. All right, so thank you guys again for coming on Straight Talking with Kelly, where real conversations happen. I will look forward to seeing you guys in the future, okay? Take care. Have a good evening. Bye. Thanks.